Okay, remember that they're changing my voice because the government has already conceded my point. All the churches, all the main shot callers for their churches have conceded that I'm right about this. And they don't want people to know the truth because what they're doing is evil. And there's a lot of sexual immorality in the churches these days to make a long story short. But first look at Jeremiah 4.13. It says, look, he advances like the clouds. His chariots come like a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe to us, we are ruined. You might be saying, hey, what does this have to do with what Christ said? Well, let's go to Jeremiah uh, 23, 19. It says, see, the storm of the Lord will burst out in wrath, a whirlwind swirling down on the heads of the wicked. Are all the wicked going to have a whirlwind swirling down on their heads and kick in their butt? No, that's not what it's saying. So when we go to Isaiah 30, uh, going down to verse 30, the Lord will cause people to hear his majestic voice and will make them see his arm coming down with raging anger and consuming fire with cloud bursts, thunderstorm, and hail. What most people don't think about, okay, is that cloud burst is referring to a spirit, the spirit of God, a warrior spirit, a martial arts spirit, right? His majestic voice and will make him see his arm coming down with raging anger and consuming fire with cloud burst under storm and hail when christ in the, as a character in the story said that he's going to come back he said i am and you will see me at the right hand of power the right hand of the mighty one in, in different versions in different parts of the bible coming on the clouds of heaven he's talking about with martial arts strikes he still might not be convinced now think about david and goliath right the stone the builder rejected people were stoned to death for being wicked David picked up stones, smooth stones from the ground, and used a sling to kill Goliath. And it was a sort of a blow. And so when we see in Isaiah 30, as it goes on, it says, you know, in verse uh, 31, the voice of the Lord will shatter Assyria. With his rod, he will strike them down. Every stroke the Lord lays on them with his punishing club will be to the music of timbrels and harps as he fights them in battle with the blows of his arm. It overkills, but it's a strike. In fact, even the word spirit is a play on words for spear, and it. So if anyone's not talking about Christ in terms of Royal African Falcon martial arts, we'll get to that. Then they're lying. So if you truly have the spirit of discernment, please discuss this with me. Because if I'm wrong, and I know that I'm not wrong, but I would like to know, right? And obviously I've done a lot of research in this, so why on earth would you avoid this? So if you do not respond to my video um, reply, I think it's safe to say that like many people who avoid responding to it, it's because I'm right. And you refuse to admit I'm right. Okay, so when it talks about true and false prophets in the Bible, and I don't want to take the time to look up all these scriptures. Most of them are very famous, you know, the other scriptures that prove my point. And so it is with true and false prophets. Okay, but if you like, I could look it up for you and put it in the comments. I have a lot to do these days. It says you will know them by their fruits, right? Their works. And Christ, when he said to the Jews, he said, the kingdom of heaven will be taken away from you and given to a people who perform its work, right? Who will do its fruits, okay? And so the Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name, Exodus 15, 3. David versus Goliath. David was a warrior king. There's countless battles he led the Israelites on. So it's pretty straightforward. The works of God are warrior works. Moses split in the Red Sea. Samson, Joshua, Jonathan. I can go on and on. If you have discernment, how come you do not know this? So, I do agree with you that that Ghanaian person is not Christ. And I don't think you're ready to hear who Christ is and why. I don't think you're ready to know for sure that Christ is here now. And people in the divine order are aware. Because Christ, the Christos, means the anointed one. Okay, set apart. John 10, set apart. Set apart how? He who sees the Son sees the Father. Well, what spirit is he in? A warrior spirit that goes beyond the church's propaganda and their silly games. And I'm 100% I'm satisfied that you have been corrupted by the church's propaganda. And it's not just people in church. It's people all over the place reinforcing that same kind of, you know, falsehood uh, message that they, they propound. So when we look at, you know, the situation, we know it's African because no one in the West goes beyond Martin Luther King 
and black people aren't exactly the most populated group in the West or something. So why is that? Because the best of the good trees, if you will, is one way to look at it, I suppose, okay, is going to be black African. Martin Luther King didn't get that kind of heart from Western cultivation. He got it from his African line. He got it from his Igbo Nigerian African line. And there's a big difference between a Ghanaian person playing the game and the Royal African Falcon top martial arts who's an Igbo, who is me.